In this video, we are going to look at stretching and stretching programs. The first thing to know is that there are four types of stretches commonly used in these programs. There's what's known as self-myofascial release, or more commonly known as foam rolling. And we do have a video on our channel for foam rolling of the calf and the back posterior line. Uh, you can check out for more information on that. More commonly, the most common thoughts of stretching is known as static stretching. These are stretching uh, movements where a position is held most commonly for 30 seconds or longer to help increase muscular balance as well as flexibility. There are some downfalls to static stretching with some muscles and we will discuss those in later videos. Also known, a third type of stretching is known as active stretching release or active isolated stretching and this uses movements. The principle is reciprocal inhibition which basically says when one muscle contracts its antagonist or its opposite muscle must relax. So if you're contracting the quadriceps as in an extension the hamstrings must relax and it uses that active motion to help increase flexibility. The fourth type of stretching is known as dynamic stretching. This is more advanced of the stretching movement and involves motion and momentum to carry the muscle through a prolonged range of motion and into a stretch. There will be more information on those stretches as this video goes along. Today we're going to focus strictly on the gastrocnemius and the soleus, the muscles of the calf, and different types of stretchings for those muscles. This stretch, we're going to utilize the wedge. The wedge, I like using the wedge because it gives a full flat surface to support your foot. And I do want to give a special shout out to Make It Mine, who did the laser engraving on my uh, wedge here. Uh, we will put a uh, their website down below for anybody who's looking at doing wood burning or laser engraving. The wedge here, like I said, is a good way to stretch the calf and the soleus. So with the wedge, we put our foot on the wedge. I'm going to keep my, my knee bent, my back leg behind, and I'm just going to use that momentum, that active stretch, to lean forward to get into that stretch. Hold it, two, three, four, five, and come back. It's all a shift of the weight. We're going to move it forward, two, three, four, five, and back. Stretch for the soleus. Two, three, four, five. And again, repeat five times. Switch your foot. Get that nice on there. Step back with that back leg. So you can just lean forward, bending the knee. Get to that stretch. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Relax. Stretch it. Two, three, four, five, relax. Lean into it. Two, three, four, five, and relax. Now with the gas rack, I do this a little bit different. We're going to put our foot on there. I'm actually going to step in front of or next to that stretch. This is going to allow me to get that leg straight. Drop that weight onto that foot to keep the heel down. Two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to walk forward to relax it. Again, now I'm going to shift, drive that heel down. Two, three, four, five. And relax it. Again, drive that heel down. Two, three, four, five. And relax five times. I know I'm only doing three, but five times. Now the next way to shift your gas rock is I'm going to put my toes out a little bit. Then it's the same position. Step in front, drive that heel down. The toes out are going to change that emphasis to the outside of the calf and relax. Toes out, step forward, 
drive that heel down, two, three, four, five, relax. Drive down, two, three, four, five, relax. Now, I'm going to rotate those toes inward. Again, just a slight angle. One step forward, two, three, four, five, relax. And again, the toes in and out. We'll just change the angle a little bit on that, on the uh, medial and versus lateral head of the gastroc, and you'll get a all around good stretch. Step forward, drive that heel down, two, three, four, five, and relax. And then repeat, toes straight, toes out, and toes in. To work, stretch the whole range of the gastroc, knee bent to target your soles. So this next stretch is commonly referred to as a calf stretch, the runner's stretch, um, and it's probably the most common stretch you'll see people do for the calves. They step forward with their base foot and the target leg is in the back and we're going just to drive that heel down into the ground, hold that position. This is actually a beneficial stretch, whether it's the runner stretch, calf stretch. Though I'm stretching the calf, I'm also getting a good stretch into the quadriceps and the hip flexors. If you need a uh, wall to push against or something to hold on to, you can do that. But again, it's just taking that good stance, taking that back leg, drive that heel into the ground, hold it for five seconds, two, three, four, five, and relax. Drive it back, two, three, four, five, and relax. Other thing to do with the, with the calf stretch, runner stretch, is turn those toes out. So now rather than straight, we're at a slight angle, Shift that weight, sink it down to drive it out. Two, three, four, five. Bend it to relax. Drive it down. Two, three, four, five. And relax. Drive it down. Two, three, four, five. Again, relax that. Now I'm going to turn that heel out so that the toes are in. Same thing. Drive it down. Two, three, four, five, relax. Just as necessary, two, three, four, five, relax it. Back down, two, three, four, five, and relax it. For this stretch, it's commonly referred to as a strap stretch. Now you can use a elastic third bend strap, strap to stretch this muscle. A towel works and often belts. Any kind of strap that's going to allow you to put around your foot, maintain good posture, and um, hold on to your stretch is going to be good. Now this stretch here we employ what's known as um, contract, relax, stretch. This is the process of PIR, or post isometric relaxation. After a muscle contracts, it has to relax. So we take our strap, we're going to keep our legs straight to emphasize the gastrocnemius. We're going to point those toes for a count of five and relax and pull back into that stretch for a count of five. Give it a chance to relax, adjust the strap if you need to. Again, extend, two, three, four, five, stretch, two, three, four, five, relax. Extend, two, three, four, five, relax, two, three, four, five. Extend, two, three, four, five, relax, two, three, four, five. 
Now again, that's going to really focus on the gastrocnemius. If we want to stretch the soleus, what we can do is bend that knee, same process, contract, two, three, four, five, stretch, two, three, four, five. Relax, and adjust that. Contract, two, three, four, five, stretch, two, three, four, five. Do each stretch five times, then switch. So the hanging calf stretch is just a personal pet peeve of mine, is that it is not a stretch, not in the traditional sense. Is it a stretch in that you're elongating the muscle through its range? Yes. However, as you hang, you've got a hundred and some pounds, 180 pounds, as to prevent my ankle from collapsing, that gastroc in the calf needs to contract to keep my body weight in place. So it's actually more of an eccentric contraction that you are working. So we treat it as such. So I'm going to come from a contracted position. I'm going to slowly work that negative, eccentrically contract, reach the bottom, hold, contract up. Slowly come down, three, four, five, hold, and contract up. Slowly down, two, three, four, five, hold, bring it up. Bring it down slowly, two, three, four, five, and contract. I can switch the legs, and then using the step here for balance, I'm going to start at the peak contraction, down for about four to five count, hold for one to two, contract up one, down slowly, hold, contract. There are four stretches that we went over today. <clears throat> the calf stretch utilizing the wedge, the calf stretch using the strap, the runner stretch, and what's known as a hanging stretch, though I still will debate that it is an exercise, not a stretch. With your calves, it's very important to understand that your calves are primarily made up of fast twitch muscle fibers. What this means is your calves are designed for power, speed, and agility. They're not designed for relaxation. So static stretching, prolonged stretching of 30 seconds or more can actually impede, inhibit the purpose of the calf's power. There are some studies out there, more studies are currently being done, showing that static stretching prior to exercise has negatively impacted the calf and their muscles. So my recommendations have always been for your calves, five to 10 second stretches, no more than 10. Most commonly, I always do five repetitions, five rep three to five repetitions. So again, it's three to five repetitions of five second stretches for each of those. With the wedge or the standing, remember, with a straight leg for your gastroc, turn those toes out, turn those toes in, and toes straight to really stretch all heads and all fibers of the calf. If you want more of an anatomy on our calf, go to our uh, anatomy section on our YouTube station. There is a video on the anatomy of the calf. If you're interested in self-myofascial release, we also have a video of the calf and the posterior line foam rolling for that uh, release. Remember to subscribe, to like, click notifications for more videos. Thank you.